myself mrs rachita desai i'm from pharmacology and i'm working as an assistant professor at shri naranji bai lal bai patel college of pharmacy umrak today i'm going to present video on practical that is anti inflammatory activity of drugs using keratinin induced co edema model so we are using we are going to use the xfarm series software over here as per the pci guidelines on how we can perform screening models practical using virtual softwares or videos for that first of all we will log in on the site that is hgb.nic.in we have our college user id and password for this x1 software series as you can see different screening models as well as bioassay models are also available for virtual demonstration uh, we can discuss the practical that is covered in as per your pci syllabus for that we can uh, today we will see plethysmometer that is study of anti inflammatory activity using keratinin induced co edema method other different screening models are also available like for example screening model for analgesics that is tail flick method then diuretic activity can be assessed that is study of diuretic using metabolic gauge then even bioassay models are also available that is drc curve then matching method graphical method 3 point 4 point method as you can see various this uh, rapid pyrogen test is also available then effect of drugs on blood pressure as well as heart rate so this all these uh, practicals are covered in your syllabus so that you can do virtually as per pci guidelines using this xfarm software okay, so to be study study of anti inflammatory activity using keratinin induced co edema method here uh, you will get all the details that is to click on your virtual practice then start the experiment as you can see on the screen the equipment for the plethysmometer is displayed over here uh, two types of plethysmometer are available that is manual as well as digital the one displayed over here on your screen that is the digital plethysmometer that is the volume that we are obtaining that is uh, recorded digitally we don't have to measure it manually okay over here we can see all the parameter that is introduction part experimental part the observation that we will record the equipment details principal part as well as procedure part all details are available in this x1 software we will see, uh, see one by one it is first that is introduction So here it is a plethysmometer. The introduction is given over here. It is an equipment which is used to measure pore volume of the rat while performing anti-inflammatory activity. For example, anti-inflammatory activity we are accessing the uh, edema that is produced in the rat pore. It is as you can see in this screen. I'll zoom in a little. This uh, organ tube-like assembly is available. so here in this there is a marking is also available that is up to this marking we can uh, fill the saline solution this is the reservoir over here that is we will fill the saline solution over here in this reservoir that is this uh, cup like structure you can see on the right top corner of the equipment then the tubing is available so the fluid it will be collected in this organ tube then so you can see the marking over here red marking that is it is for our uniform filling of the saline solution it is up to this marking we will fill the solution then we will uh, take the rat or the mice we will uh, give the injection of keratinin that is the phlogistic agent we are using as we have discussed in the practical part when we are studying non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs that is the various uh, kera phlogistic agents they are used to induce inflammation that is they will induce the uh, cytokine reactions and all so the the what are the four cardinal signs for inflammation that is redness heat production edema swelling that is uh, that will occur so 
the animals they are divided into two groups one will serve as a control and the other will receive the drug so the one group which is receiving the drug we will give any non steroidal anti inflammatory agent for example indomethacin phenylbutazone etc before the commencement of the experiment after that we will inject keratinin by intraperitoneal route in sorry uh, not intraperitoneal route or uh, subplantar route it is a uh, subplantar route that is i have shown you earlier during that uh, theory part that is when uh, that hind paw we are using over here in the hind paw when we inject it is in the paw part of the rat that is called as the subplantar route of injection so uh, two hind paws are available for each rat one hind paw we serve as a control in that we are not injected injecting any keratinin the other hind paw we are injecting the keratinin this 0.1 ml keratinin using the subplantar route of injection so the other leg in which we are not injecting any keratinin that will serve as a control for reference purpose now before the starting of the experiment we will dip the hind paw in this organ tube we will also do one marking as we have seen this red marking on the organ tube like that one marking will also do on the leg of the rat so that every time we will uh, dip the exact amount of the leg in this organ tube okay, then we have to hold the rat and uh, dip its uh, hind paw into this organ tube so here we are using the principle of folding of displacement that is the amount of uh, when we will inject uh, insert the hind paw in this organ tube somewhat amount of the saline that will be displaced so that we are getting the volume of displacement which will indicate the volume of the hind paw of the rat so we have to dip the paw exactly up to the marking so every time we will dip the same amount of the paw into this organ tube so there will be no chances of error that is uh, if the marking is not done sometimes you will in uh, dip more amount of the paw sometimes you will dip less amount so that will not uh, show any uniformity so to avoid that we are mar doing one marking on the hind paw of the rat and then we are dipping the same uh, amount in every time so we will get the volume of displacement now if the plethysmometer is the manual one then we will have to uh, here in this organ tube scale is uh, scale will be available so we will have to uh, check manually okay, how much is the volume of displacement that is uh, 1 ml 2 ml etc but here we are having in our college also we are having this digital plethysmometer so that is it is connected to this instrument this digital uh, reader so it will directly convert and it will give the reading will be displayed over here that is 1 ml 2 ml whatever is the reading so we will not have to manually uh, calculate how much is the volume of displacement so that is the benefit of this uh, digital plethysmometer now once we have uh, injected this paw uh, we will uh, follow the standard procedure that is we will uh, dip the paw at regular intervals so that we will get the reading that is for the uh, control group where we are not using any non steroidal anti inflammatory drug there will be excessive swelling or edema production so we will get large volume of displacement values whereas uh, for the drug control group where we are we have injected any non steroidal anti inflammatory drug in that group because of the inhibition of the cox2 enzyme that is the mechanism of this nsaid that is inhibition of the cyclooxygenase 2 enzyme their edema production will be uh inhibited so there will be less edema so we will get less reading in that drug control group so like that this is the main principal part over here same thing you can see here also for example you can in the equipment part you can see the description of this equipment it is plethysmometer it is used to measure paw volume of the rat then in the principal part same as i told you that is inflammation is a protective response to the any injury because until and unless inflammation is produced we will not get a signal like there is some injury or some dysfunction is to our body so it occurs in three phases the first phase it begins with edema and swelling that is fluid accumulation is done is uh, seen so there will be swelling and because of that with accompanying pain so these effects are produced as a result of dilation the permeability of the blood vessels it is increased that is increased permeability of the blood vessels due to release of certain 
uh, inflammatory mediators or precursors like histamine, serotonin, various thymines, etc. Drug permeability is uh, sorry, blood vessel permeability is increased. So the fluid will rush into the extracellular space and it will produce edema as well as uh, or swell, whatever we use the term. Then in the second phase, the leukocytes they migrate to this area and their uh, mopping of the operation start. That is the antigen antibody reaction will start. So the second phase it is followed by repair, which is ushered in by the proliferation of fibroblast and the synthesis of connective tissue. So here the ability of the it is screening of the non and uh, non steroidal anti-inflammatory drug is done. So the ability of the test compound to reduce the local edema which is induced in the red paw by using various irritants. Here we have used keratinin. So it is most widely used test to screen new non steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. So many compounds like formalin, keratinin, kaolin, yeast, dextran, these are all the examples of irritants or we also use the term phlogistic agents. So they have been used as irritants to produce edema. Then we can also see the procedure part in this uh, x -Farm software that is we use 12 healthy male albino rats which are weighing 100 to 200 grams. So such animals will be selected. Then they are divided into two groups of six animals each. All the animals will be kept on fasting for, it is overnight fasting for 18 hours. Then the hind paw of the rat, it will be marked at the level of tibiotarsal junction of the hind leg. As I said earlier, that we mark the uh, hind paw of the rat so that uniform dipping of that paw is done in that organ tube. So that while measuring the volume, the dipping will be done to the same, that is 22 level. Then 0.1 ml of 1% keratinin, that is the irritant, it will be administered to the rats into the plantar surface of the right hind limb to induce poor edema, which is called as the subplantar root of injection. The volume will be measured immediately after the keratinin injection and after 3 hours using plethysmometer. One group will serve as a control, they will be given 0.3 ml of normal saline orally. Another group, it will receive the test drug. Here, that is acetyl salicylic acid, dose of 300 mg per kg body weight. That I have teach you the dose calculation also. That is 1000 gram of body weight, it requires 300 mg. So, here, for example, if our rat is of 200 grams, so according to that, we will have to do the dose calculation. After 30 minutes of the administration of the test drug, the change in the power value will be compared with the control animals and the percentage of the edema that is inhibited it will compare to the control group by the test group. So then we, if you want to start the experiment we click on the experiment part again we will be given the procedure that is take 12 animals inject keratinin in the paw of all the animals and wait for 30 minutes then divide the animals into two groups of six animals each. So one group that is the drug group, it will be given acetyl salicylic acid in the dose of 300 mg per kg body weight and the other that is control group that will receive vehicle that is uh, 0.3 ml of normal saline by oral route and then we will wait for 30 minutes and after that we will evaluate the paw volume, we will record the change in the paw volume and then we will compare the change in the paw volume between the vehicle treated group as well as the drug treated group. So here as you can see the rats are assigned to us in the experiment part when we click this button that is administer so one video will pop up which is showing that is see you can see subplantar root of injection over here it is keratinin it is injected in the hind paw on the plantar part of the hind paw so these animals will be divided into two groups that is one group that is drug treated group and the other that is vehicle treated group. Now to assess the paw volume, we will have to individually click on all the animals of each group. So starting with the vehicle treated group, I click on the animal over here. They are given this vehicle treated group. So it is given 0.3 ml of normal saline via per oral route. So you can hear a click of, uh, see, then the hand paw it is dipped in the organ tube and we here we receive the paw volume that is 0.73 ml because it is a digital one so directly this paw volume will be uh, displayed on the screen 
So we will have to manually enter this reading that is 0 0.73 that is displayed over here. For volume for this thread that is 0 0.73 ml. So that will manually display over here. Now we will select the next thread. Again the normal cell line it is given. When we are inserting this uh, you can see the click sound of when it is entering the SO figures. Here the power volume is 0.74 ml. Again it will manually enter it over here. Then you will click on the next thread. And we are getting the value that is 0 0.75 ml. Again, we will manually enter it. We will select the next thread. After 30 minutes, again, we are getting the power volume that is 0 0.77 ml. Next thread. After 30 minutes, reading is taken that is 0 0.78 ml, and the last animal in the vehicle treated group. That is the paw volume recorded is 0 0.74 ml. So we have finished with the vehicle treated group. Now we will click each animal on the drug treated group. For drug treated group, we are giving the non steroidal anti inflammatory drug over here that is uh, acetyl salicylic acid with a dose of 300 mg per kg body weight. Again, after 30 minutes, it is recorded for volume. Here we are getting 0 0.55 ml. As you can see in the drug treated, now we will select the next animal. As you can see in the drug treated group, the power volume is less compared to the vehicle treated group because the non steroidal anti inflammatory drug they have uh, reduced the edema. So that is low volume of displacement. See here again we are getting 0 0.51 ml. So for vehicle treated group, we were getting average of 0 0.7 ml. Here we are getting average of 0 0.5 ml. So the edema is less. Volume of displacement will also be less, so reading is decreased in this drug treated group. 0 0.56 ml. Next animal. Zero point four nine ml. All the readings will have to enter manually. Zero point five eight ML and last one zero point five three ML. So we have not calculated the power volume for all the individual animals and we have entered the readings manually. It is compulsory to enter the readings manually then only it will be displayed in your observation table. Now see we have seen the introduction part, we have conducted the experiment, we have seen the principal part. Now we will see the observation. So here the observation table will also be prepared it is for vehicle treated group and drug treated group. Here all the values that we obtain it is paw volume that is automatically displayed over here and average is calculated for both the groups. That is for vehicle treated group average is 0 0.7516 and for drug treated group average is 0 0.5366. Okay. Now over here you will understand the significance of this that is uh, significance of entering the reading manually. That is if you do not enter the re readings manually, it will not be displayed over here in this observation table. That is if you are getting the power volume, it is displayed. For example, power volume will be displayed 0.51 ml. But below in the dialog box, if you do not enter this 0.51 ml manually, then this cell will be left blank. 
So it is compulsory that you enter all the readings manually, then only you will get this complete observation table. So from this observation table, you can see that the drug treated group they have produced less edema or they have prevented edema formation. So the volume of displacement is low. So here the reading is less, it is 0.53 compared to the vehicle treated group where the edema is more. So volume of displacement is also more, that is 0.75 ml. So here in this uh, X1 software, conclusion will also be available. That is decreased average power volume in the drug group, that is acetyl salicylic acid treated animals. They show anti-inflammatory activity of the test drug. So here using, using this x software, you will get uh, the all the things that is necessary for your journal writing also. That is the introduction part and the equipment part, the principal part, the procedure part. Even the observation table and lastly the conclusion will also be available. So completely it will be helpful for your journal writing purpose also. And same as that we are doing uh, screening models using live animals, the same type of uh, clear pictorial video is displayed over here that how the animals are given drugs individually and how the reading is performed using plethysmometer. So without using the animals, we can virtually using this x series software, we can perform the screening of various experimental models. Various other animal models are also available as we can see in this index table. As per our syllabus, we are having diuretics and analgesics for that tail flick method is also available. So, we will discuss every model in each practical term. Thank you very much.